Hey guys, and welcome back to Life is Ministry. I am going to come with a very quick word this evening. It is coming from Acts chapter 4. Um, you guys, so I was just having my study time and just listening to my worship songs and all that. And then the Lord spoke to me that he wanted me to go ahead and release a word on Acts 4, 39. So I'm sitting here looking for Acts 4, 39. And I'm like... Lord, there is no X 439. So I know when God does those things, um, he is telling me to break it up. So he then he go ahead and tells me, uh, I want you to read chap X chapter four. Acts chapter four. And then I want you to look at 39 in the strong Hebrews concordance. So I began, um, I looked up 39, the meaning of that set apart a sacred thing sacred place holy um as well as and i'm going to be linking um or putting somewhere here um so you guys can see and read you know because i don't know how to pronounce the word <laughs> but the meaning of it is breaks down to set apart um for sacred place holy and even last week, the Lord had me search up 444. You know, my channel has been sitting at 444 subscribers. It might go up, then it might go down, then it'll go right back to 444. And that is set apart for the Lord. Um, so you guys, I'm gonna go to Acts um, chapter four and give you a, a little quick um, sum up of the breakdowns and I'm gonna go wherever the Holy Spirit leads me. If he wants me to read a verse to you all, if he wants me to, you know, talk about it. If you give me word, insight, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to chapter 4. We're going to start at verse 2. Now, Peter and John were arrested. It says, Being greatly disturbed that they taught the people and preached in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in custody until the next day. And it was already evening. However, many of those who heard the word believed. And the number of the men came to be about 5,000. So, everyone that started to hear about Jesus began to believe. And now we have 5,000 believers. And John and Peter are going ahead spreading the gospel. Or is there salvation in any other? For there is no other name under the heavens given among men by which we must be safe. Now, um, the title of my next sec section is named, The Name of Jesus is Forbidden. So, Lord, where do you want me to go? Okay, he's, he wants me to go to verse 17. But so that it spreads no further among the people, let us severely threaten them. And from now on, they speak to no man in this name. So they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. So, okay, you guys, I just want to let you know that I am reading from a study Bible. It is Sphere Field Life Bible, um, New King James Version, just to let you know. Um, it has so much um, study content in it. If you guys have one and you wanted to follow along or if you guys just wanted um, you know, to know so you could maybe get one of your own. I'm going down to the next section. Um, it says prayer for boldness. And I'm going to start at... Um, Verse 24. So when they heard that, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, you are God who made the heavens and earth and the seas and all that is in them. So even though they were instructed not to speak the name of Jesus, not to confess what Jesus has done, um, or they would, um, you know, have to suffer some type of consequence. As I was saying, even though that they were threatened, they would have to suffer some harsh con consequences if they spoke the name of Jesus Christ, they still consulted with God. What must we do? What must we, uh, you know, say? What must we speak? Because their obedience and loyalty and faithfulness was with God. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go to verse 30. By stretching out your hands to heal and the signs and wonders you may have done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place 
where they were assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the words of God with boldness, sharing in all things. Now the multitudes of those who believed were of one, one heart and one soul. Neither of anyone said any of the things he possessed was his own. They had all things in common. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. So as I said um, before, the Lord instructs you to read the entirety of Acts chapter 4. Go ahead and do so. Um, because I just scammed to get the highlighted portions that the Lord wanted me to speak upon. Um, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way today. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is highlighting that many will come um, in the name of God, but forsake the Son. Many will say that they are followers of God, but they will not um, proclaim the name of Jesus. And to be watchful of that. As well, for those chosen, set apart, sacred, holy ones. He wants you to collectively come together and serve as one. Um, in these times, you know, it's going to be so many things going on. There is nothing new under the sun. That is in Ecclesiastics. So what the Lord wants you to know is how Peter and John were arrested they um the name of jesus were was forbidding um it was you know they were threatened so you know as believers they have to gather and commune with one another to ask god you know seek out what is our next steps what shall we do um seek out um as believers helping one another and nothing belong to you know just one person they were all sharing this is how the lord wants us this is how the lord wants us to move this is how he he is instructing us um to utilize one another as believers as the body um for us to be able to share in um whatever it is that we have to sh trade to you know because times are coming perilous times are coming and the earth will be shaken again god's wrath and judgment is going forward and you know he is going to continue to make a way for his children as believers as uh brothers and sisters in christ we are to come together and help one another nothing should be oh this is mine that doesn't belong to you you have yours over there but we should be coming together to help one another because we believe in the same thing um so that is the message that is the word i'm not going to add any more to it um i love you and the lord loves you bye-bye